Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Jimmy. Today we are outside of the RV going to address an issue we had with our new 2021 Wildwood Heritage Glen. We had a problem with the pump, the 12 volt pump in here. When we hooked it up to city water, it would bypass the pump and fill our freshwater tank. And if you didn't catch it, it would overflow. We happened to see it. We had the valve open on the bottom and all of a sudden water came out. We knew it was over worth filling the tank and bypassing the the check valve on the pump. So we contacted Forest River because we're a long ways away from a camping world. And they suggested the top part of the pump. So today we're gonna address that, attack that. We're gonna put that top part of that pump on there, see if that fixes our issue. We were kind of in the middle of winter when this happened. So one of the things I did was I replaced the piece of hose that fed it and I put a shut off valve in between so I could shut it off so we could still be hooked to city water. And uh, that held us till now. We finally got a nice day out here. So we're gonna get inside here, remove this access panel and get to where the pump is. We're gonna unhook everything and pull the pump out. And then we'll work here on the table, on the bench and get that top half replaced. So let's get in here and see what we can do. One more thing before we get in there though, we're also gonna do an upgrade uh, while we're in here. We might as well, the water's off at the same time. We're gonna be upgrading our shower that's in here. We have the outside shower and our wet bay. We're gonna install the one that has the detachable hose. Saves us a little more room in here, it looks neater. And it's a beautiful upgrade so you can take showers outside, has a 15 foot coiled hose. We'll show you guys here in a minute, but first let's get that pump fixed and then we'll head up to that. All right, everybody, here we are inside our wet bay. You can see what I was talking about, that shower we're gonna replace. We'll do that here later in the video, but uh, we're gonna replace that so this hose isn't making a mess down here all coiled up. We'll show you what we're gonna do for that. But first what we gotta do is we gotta get access inside this panel because our pump is behind here a little bit. So we already got this one side taken off. You can see here. I'm gonna take the screws off from that end and we'll pull this panel off. So let's get to it. We gotta get to this screw, this screw. There's like two or three screws in that side. We're gonna pull those out and get full access to this panel. That way you guys can see what's inside. So let's get going on that. Make sure you don't lose your screws. Blocking the light for you guys, sorry. There's one. That one wasn't even into anything up there. It's kind of that, uh, see this one up here? I don't know if you guys can see it. This one wasn't even into the wood. It's not even a hole in it. Shows you the, kind of the quality of these RVs these days, but let's move this out of our way. Get you guys a closer shot in here. You guys, there's the pump we need to get to right there. Get some more light. You can see the pump we need to get to. We need to replace this head right here. So we need to unhook this hose here, which is the outlet hose. This hose back here. Let's see if I get you guys in there. This hose right here, which is the inlet hose. This is the one we changed. Get you guys over here a little better. You can see the I don't know if you can. The shutoff valve we put on. Can you guys see that? I'm not even sure. That's the shutoff valve we put on. So we're going to get a towel, soak up any water that drips. We're going to unhook these hoses and unplug the wires off of the pump. So make sure you know where the wires came off from that you unplugged so you can put them back in the same area. So let's get that started. Let's go get a towel first. Get this other one that's easy to get to. Boy, crap, we got lucky. All right, guys, we got all four of the screws out of there. So this is free floating. We're going to put our towel under there now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put our towel under here just to catch any water that might drip out when we unhook the hoses, because there is water in the lines. So we'll put that in there. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is unhook our wires so we know which ones go where. Remember to keep that in mind when you're unplugging them. We're gonna try to keep these, keep track of these. My 
have to fight him out of there, I guess. Well, that one's a tight one, so we're going to have to get a better angle on that one. All right, we got that last one pulled out. Just like I said, remember where they came, came from. The one in the back goes to the back. So we'll make sure it goes that way. Next, what we're going to do is unhook these hoses. Like I said, have your towel ready because water is going to come out of here. Probably more than we want to. And be careful, there's a plug right there. You don't want to get no water into that, especially if you're still hooked up. This one here. Get you guys turned around. So that one's off. We're gonna get this one on the back side. Same thing. One's an in, one's an out. And like I said, we changed ours to have a shut off, which I think they should have shut offs anyway. In case there's an issue, you can shut it off separately instead of shutting off water to your whole unit. There you go. We technically should be all unhooked. Nope, we still have a ground, which sucks because that one's in a, oh, it's a oh, perfect kind. You guys see these yet? See if I can get you in there. These kind of quick tap things, you just lift up the lever, the wire pulls right out. Look at that. Love these things. That's that new stuff, so at least they got some of that going for it. And there we go, guys. We got our pump out. We're gonna put it out here on the bench and get this uh, top piece switched out. So let's go do that. All right, guys, we're out here at the bench. Sorry if there's any wind noise. I got the muff on the mic, but you never know. First, we're gonna see what came in the box for the top end so we know if we gotta switch anything over. This is the this is the direct replacement for this. Let's see if I can find you guys a number. Right here is the number if you guys are looking for the same thing. So you guys can see that. Here's the top half housing. Uh, more screws if you needed them. There's also a gasket, so we have all those. Of course, you have your instructions on how to do it. If you get lost or if it's just your first time messing with something like this, it'll show you how to uh, replace everything. But I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So let's set that aside. Let's see what we're going to have to do here. All right, from what I'm seeing, we got to take this filter off and screw it on here. And that looks to be about it. Uh, one wire is connected to this one. You can see this, the one wire. But uh, we can unplug that. We don't need this one because we already have it inside there wired in. You can take that out. So let's start by getting this uh, strainer basket off here filter. And then we'll, we'll mount it onto this one. And then we'll take it off of the pump and switch them over. Looks pretty easy to do. So let's get started. This one you could just turn it off by hand. Let's give it a spin. Here we go. Water will come out because that basket does hold it. Dump ours on the ground here a little bit. The water that's in that pump head, we're just dumping that out. Like that. That's all we need to do. This was on there without any, like, I mean, thread seal or anything. I mean, it's got, like, a tapered end in there, which probably seals. But I brought out some Teflon tape just in case. I probably put a, a round or two on there. All right. Now that we have that off, we're going to get our drill just going to take all these, loosen all these up first. There's looks to be seven, eight of them. Eight of them right there. We're just going to loosen them all. There we go. Now we can just start taking them out of there. Get them all 
fully loose. They do look to have blue Loctite on them. Always hold it in case you never know if something like this is spring-loaded or anything. So I always recommend holding them. Oh, got one still holding on. Okay, where's it? This one. Yep, that one. There we go. Be careful. Like I said, that's what the inside looks like. It's just like a diaphragm with the, the rubber valves. Good time to look in here and make sure there's no like grainy particles or anything that's holding those flapper valves open. Ours looks pretty clean because we didn't really get a chance to use this at all. Uh, we've been hooked up to uh, full hookups for a while and then we noticed this doing what it did. So it was pretty early on. We didn't really get to use it. So, and this was on a new RV. Uh, this is a 2021 and it had this issue right from the, right from the get go. But it is what it is. We'll get her fixed. All right, now we're going to, like we said, we're going to look at this one. You can see what the underside of this looks like. Let's see if I can do it without dropping the screws out. Right here. That's going to match pretty much the underneath of this one. Ooh, losing the screws. They look the same, so we're, there's a rubber gasket I can see in the center. Like you'll see it goes in here. It's over there. That new gasket that came with it will probably go in there. So let's get that switched over. And we will put the screws in and get it tightened back on there. Try not to lose these screws, but they got to come out anyway, I guess. Some have double screws. I don't know if that's on purpose. You can see some or double washers. See double washer there, double washer there, in here. So that might mean something. So we'll make sure we put it in that way when we put it back. All right, let's get over here, open our new seal. That's a tough bag, really. All right, let's put that in here. Ooh, we don't want the plastic. We're going to press that in place. Make sure you get it down in there good. Sorry, I had a shot there. Get it down in there real good. So that's in, oops, popped it back up. That's in place, ready to go, almost. There we go. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to one by one replace these screws. So let's move this to the side a little. Screw replace there. Oops, see, there's that extra washer there. It did come with screws, but our screws are in good shape. We didn't round any, and they still have the Loctite on the threads. But uh, you do have a second set if you need them. I'm just going to reuse the same ones. Goes right, right there. There we go. We have it perfectly done. We'll set this one aside. I can, I think I could see the issue in this one. Let's see if I could point that out to you guys. Hold on a second. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can see right here in this corner, I can see the valve, that valve right there, which is probably the check valve is totally messed up. I mean, it's, it's pushed right past itself. I'm not sure if that's repairable. I'll mess with that later, but that, that seemed to be our issue right there on a brand new pump. Set that aside. Yeah, the bottom of this one, let's check this one. This one looks slightly different, but you can see no issues on this one. It's a different kind of valve altogether. All right, <clears throat> these blue caps are just caps on here. We're gonna take those off, throw them in the box. Then we're gonna get some Teflon tape on here and throw our, our basket back on. 
All right, we're putting this Teflon tape on. Make sure you put it in the right direction that you're going to be screwing your thing on. And uh, hopefully you took some pictures before you started so you know which direction this pump goes or this uh, pump head goes back on the motor. We're just doing a couple turns on it because this is... Uh, this is really thick Teflon tape. There we go. And we're going to thread our basket back on there. It wasn't leaking before, but as well, far as I know. <laughs> so there we go. It's back on there. And you almost can't mess it up because on there is a flow direction. And that'll line up with the arrow on the pump head, so you know it's all flowing that direct that direction. One more thing to note: when you're when you take this top piece off, and you're messing with this. This will come off. We'll do that slow for you, so you can see. That will come off of there. So be careful with that. You don't tip it the wrong way and have it all fall off. Now we're ready to set this back on. Double check our gasket under there. Make sure we have a good fit. Looks good to me. So we're going to go slow with this. It is plastic. We don't want to break it. We'll do like a crisscross pattern like this. You guys really can't see it, but we're just tightening these eight screws down. We're only going a little bit with this to start, get them all seated. We're just going to give them a couple of duggas with this. There you have it. Just for reference for you guys, these screws, it says in the directions you'll see it tightened between 25 and 32 inch pounds. I unfortunately do not have an inch pound torque wrench that takes Phillips head, so I'm just gonna give it the old hand test to make sure we're about even all the way around. Feels good to me. She's ready to go back in. So let's uh, get over here and get this back in, wired back up, hook the hoses up, and then uh, we can give her a test, make sure she's working like she should. All right, we're back in here ready to get this pump in. What we're gonna do is use this opp opportunity to clean up all the like construction debris they got in here. We're gonna vacuum that up, maybe neaten the wires and hoses, route them a little differently so they don't, don't look so ragged. So um, let me get the vacuum, put you guys on time lapse, see me vacuum that up, and then we'll uh, put our pump back in here, screw it back down to the floor, and then we'll get to replacing, doing that upgrade, replacing that shower. So let's get started. there guys hope you enjoyed that time lapse uh, we got it cleaned up the best we could some of the wires moved out of the way that were like front facing we made a nice little gap for our pump we separated our wires that go to the pump so let's get you guys in here for a better shot if we can without blocking too much light these small spaces all right the first thing we're going to do here on the pump that one red wire we unhooked from the front we're going to route it back around 
like this. And that's the one that goes in the bottom back one. You'll see it's the only tab under there. We're going to plug that in. And that one's that one. Next, we'll screw this back down to the floor. Actually, before we do that, let's, uh, yeah, we'll screw it back down to the floor. Then we'll get um, these other hoses hooked up, the water feed lines. And then we will hook up our ground and the other wire. So let's try our best to feed it in here. Try to line up those same holes. They had it in there so far. And it was in there quite a ways. Like that, which I guess ain't bad. One thing I don't like though, this pump, it's like it's like the feet are crooked or something on there. So the pump's at an angle. So we'll get the screws started back down in the feet. It's all four of them. Usually you start with your hardest one, which is that back one. Because you can't get a, a screwdriver in there. But I did get a hand screwdriver, so <laughs> that'll be a little easier to get in there than the, the big drill. Have you guys ever noticed if somebody's wearing a, a, a lapel mic? It sounds like they ran a marathon or they're, they're breathing real heavy. Just got done eating chicken wings or something. That's what it sounds like when you watch the videos. I swear that's not the case. So I'm just going to get the rest of these in there and tighten down to the floor. And then we will go to hooking our pipes up. All right, we have that screwed down to the floor. This rubber, it's, it's rubber mounted. I don't, it seems like it should be this way. Maybe I'll put some foam under here or something, just in case it wants to vibrate. But now we're gonna do the wiring. Uh, we did that one wire that's off of the back of the motor up to the front of the pump, that one's on. We're gonna take our other lead. We're gonna feed that into the front. You'll see it the same way you took it off. Just like with any of these jobs, you guys should always take a picture so you know how it goes back on. So that one's hooked up. And of course our ground, which goes through one of those easy connectors. Gotta love that. Probably makes the job faster too for everybody. Just feed the wire in. Make sure we get it in there right. Feed it in from the right way. Feed it in from back here. There we go. Flip that lever down. That is done. I love those things. That's good. Now we're going to hook these hoses back up, both sides. Make sure you're, when you look in there, you're, there's a rubber, there's like a rubber gasket in there. Make sure that's in there. Because when we originally took this pump out, the one stuck to the one side, but we took it off and put it back in the hose. These here you don't need tools for, you just hand tighten them. They're beveled with that rubber seal in there. And again, the one we made with the shutoff valve, we're gonna leave that on there, even though we do have the original hose. Just in case there's an issue, we can shut that valve back off. It's like, hey, I don't bend this way. Start that last one. That'll be the last one we got. Rough. There we go, guys. That is hooked up. All right, guys. This is the final part of this project. Since we're already in here and have the water shut off and everything, good time to do this. And I recommend this. This is the air coil. This is for that outside shower I was talking about. It has the quick disconnect. Make sure the valve right here. Looks just like your other one, except for your hose ain't connected all the time in the way. Just push that in, you're done. Comes with a sprayer right here. The sprayer will go on the other end. You can go out 15 feet. And again, equally this easy, push in, release. This should be an easy job. I know every time I say that, something happens. <laughs> what we're going to do is go on the back side. We'll show you that. 
you'll take the two hoses off of here. Then you'll take the two nuts that look like this, holding it on. Then we'll put this one in its place and hook the hoses back up. So let's go over here and show you what to do. All right, guys, first thing you're going to do before you go on the back is undo this hose right here. This is that hose that, keep, you know, the old traditional camper RV hose that kind of sucks. We're going to undo that so that's not in the way anymore. Pull that out of there. Say goodbye. Next, we'll go on the back and undo the connections. So we're inside here. These are the two that we're going to be taking off. I... Give me one over here. Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, what do you need? I'm just going to get a towel and then place it over these bottom two that we're not taking off. Just in case any water does leak out, we're not going to soak the floor or anything. So this is just going to be... Uh, you should be able to do this with your bare hands. Uh, just make sure you remember what uh, side is which. So we'll kind of put them to the side so we don't forget, but... Might be a good time to mark them too if you if you got a marker handy or red tape or something. A little drippage. Now we'll go to the other side. That one had a bit more. A bit more water? Yeah. Yeah, so you can mark these if you need to, but you should just be able to place them to the side yeah, so you don't forget. That way, don't they? Yeah, well, this other one did. This one can easily move that way. Just make sure you drain any water out of it. So we're just going to leave it just like that. And now we're going to take off these black uh, nuts up here so then it can come out. So it's just going to be the same kind of thing, just hand loosen. You want to hold the front for me? I got it. Re released? Yep, you're all good. Oh, look at that. I mean, it's out already. Yep, so now you can just... Uh, it's so light, it feels like... It's it's chintzy. Chintzy. Chin. I mean, they're all plastic for weight reduction, I know that, but... Right, let's get our other one in there, see if the holes are spread the same. So, before he puts the other one in, I do want to let you guys know, try to pay attention to which side uh, it came out. So, we know that our hot is on the left side and our cold is on the uh, the right side. Sorry, I completely had it out of frame. This is how it was before. So, we have hot and cold. Just in case your knob doesn't say H or C, just try to remember when you put it in there. So, you should be able to put that one here's through. The one. Here's, the, here's the other one. So, you see we do have the H and C on the left right so we're just going to put it in just like that so you want to go slam it in through the front we'll leave links to all this stuff for you and does it fit yeah, it's, it's kind of, got a lot of space the, the nuts will center it out because i have spots you have new nuts or are you using it has the, new ones i'll use the ones that came with it because that might work make sure it fits there's one oh, hold on, let me get the other one out of this rack for you maybe you have a screwdriver right there if you there need you go, sir You want me to use the old? Oh, this is. We'll just use that one. I'm just going to get them pretty close, and then we can center it, and I'll tighten it. All right, sounds good. That one's a bit tighter. Okay, now you get it to the center point where you want, and then I'll I'll tighten them on there. Or do you want that? Oh, that was I behind it's a it. Bigger beauty ring, but we'll just try to center it. No, well, you center it; it'll tighten. So, All right, right there, I like that. Okay, just keep her still. Just remember, these are plastic, so don't go crazy, crazy. There you go. That's and, Atlas. Yep, and you're all set. That yeah, seems to be pretty good. Cool. Now I can. Uh, you know, the attach these on here and we'll be good to go. Yeah, these aren't going to go on here like all all the way so when you got them tight to where you see it just make sure you check for leaks before you just you know turn it on and let it go 
so we got them we got them pretty tight right now and there we are so the next step pretty much is to turn the water feed back on and check our pump we fixed and this new shower for leaks yeah. and that'll be a repair and an upgrade so while the little man goes and turns on the old spigot we'll stay back here and make sure we don't have any leaks hear the water coming in yeah it's coming in it's building pressure i don't see any leaks on my side i got nothing here yet well i don't ever want it so i shouldn't say yet but <laughs> Nothing here. Both hoses on the pump are all right. I'll take a quick look. I feel both sides for water. I mean, everything's looking good right now. So we're going to test out the new shower here. It's as quick as, like, it's almost like an air compressor. It's just a quick push right in. Yep, there you go. That's it. And then, then let's turn on one of these valves here. We'll be cold first. Not leaking out of there. The dog wants a drink. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> he goes, Whoa. Don't get it too wet. You got a vacuum down there. Okay. Cool. Okay, so cold works. You should probably spray it in the other direction. <laughs> All right. We'll go for hot. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Nice. Yep. Cool, Steve. Cool. So it works, and then I'll just take a quick look on the back, make sure we didn't have any leaks, and double check for leaks. And then job is. And then unhook this. It's just drain your hose, pull the lever to drain it, and then pop it out. Cool. Look at that, guys. Quick and easy. Well, there you have it, guys. We uh, put this right back on after checking for leaks, and uh, everything's working as it should. So we have that fixed. And then we also have, if you want to show out here, the brand new uh, head setup. So that's cool because it doesn't take up a lot of space. Now there's no hose or anything that fills this area. It's completely clean. You can set the blue hose to the side and then put it here and push it in when you're ready. So awesome. we can take this little tag off, but we'll, we're, right yeah, we're, we're okay. So we're all set, guys. Well, there you have it, guys. That was the repair on the pump, which we had from brand new. Wasn't too hard of a fix, but... I mean, I was here for pieces of it, so... But for us, it was it happened in the winter when we first, right before winter. So we didn't have time to fix it, so we bypassed it. Sorry for the wind, guys. I do have the little fluffy on here, but uh, don't always work. Yeah. And also that upgrade we did to the shower, we figured a perfect time. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it because it's probably a little bit dark in there, but very per nice. Perfect time to do it since we were already in here. The water was already off. We were already in the back. If you're going to do it, it's really not that expensive yeah, like an upgrade. Loosen and tighten four things. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And you're good. For like, I forgot what it was, 60 bucks or something, you got a nice shower that saves you a lot of space. And that's always important in an RV. So if you guys found this video helpful or useful in any way, please hit us up down in the comment section questions. Hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. And if you're interested, uh, yeah, subscribe. It'd, it'd be a big help for us. And we have a whole bunch of different variety of videos. I'm sure you guys will find something that you really enjoy. I plan on doing an update on the, the new RV, the issues we've had, the upgrades we made, and what it's like living in the RV full time yeah. for what we've been in here now for this one we've been in here for what, six months or so? Six or seven. So we'll give an update on that and tell you all the issues we had. If you guys got questions about your new RV, hit us up. Maybe we can answer them for you. Yeah, well, he'll answer them. <laughs> I'll answer them because I mess with all this stuff myself. And I think that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, until next time, guys, try something new. A little bit of everything. Whatever your heart is broken